What are some of the social benefits and impacts created by developing energy sources, especially shale oil and shale gas? So in Pennsylvania, we've seen a range of impacts. Um, and on the positive side, economic growth, um, jobs, uh, in particular, particularly in, in rural areas that have been seeing economic decline for the last couple decades. Um, although some of the research indicates that more f is for workers coming in than for resident workers. So there's a question mark as, uh, in terms of economic benefits. One particular economic benefit is leasing and royalty income. Um, households have seen thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars of an increase in, in uh, income from development if they own their subsurface rights and lease those out. Um, and what we've seen is that people are spending that money largely on savings um, or paying off debt. Um, they're investing in their future, which is a very positive thing for, for many rural communities. Um, on the other side, we, are seeing th we did see things, particularly early in the development, um, having to do with uh, you know, population growth stressing community services, leading to increases in crime, uh, traffic and, and uh, safety issues associated with the trucks on the roads. Um, noise in particular is an issue near, develop, near the wells. Um, and communities having to adapt to new commuting patterns because roads are closed. Um, challenges in getting kids to school, safety concerns about the roads. Um, those are the primary kinds of impacts we've seen. Um, community conflict in some, uh, some communities has also come up as some people are opposed and some people are supportive, uh, especially around decisions like moratoria or ordinances or leasing of public land uh, as being the, the prime points of conflict. In terms of how that compares to other shale plays in the U.S., the Marcellus is very unique in that it's a, it's a big region with very small communities and relatively large cities like Pittsburgh uh, and, and Williamsport anchoring that, that geographic space. So the development has been what we call hub and spoke, where, where the companies will locate headquarters or regional offices in the larger cities and fan their workers out across an hour or two's worth drive um, from those cities. So the kinds of impacts are different depending on where you are in that geographic space um, because it's the workers that are the core of that impact, just the presence of more people leading to that, that growth. Housing has probably been the other place that's the most impacted. Um, workers need to live somewhere, even if it's temporary or if it's a more permanent relocation. So housing prices did go up, rental units, um, uh, the rent was higher, which pushed families lower on the economic ladder out of that, um, out of the market essentially. Um, so there were a number of issues relating to displacement, homelessness, and stress on emergency services to respond to that displacement. So the other big difference between the Marcellus and those other regions is that we do have a uh, highly interconnected road system, particularly in the southwest part of the state, a little less so in the northern tier. Um, so that allowed workers to disperse more than perhaps would be the comparison in other shale plays, um, particularly the Bakken. The Bakken is also very rural, but very spread out, um, and, that, and very, very rural. I mean, the density compar population density comparison between the two areas is they're very different. Um, so workers going into the Bakken had a much harder time finding uh, housing and services that they needed. So the much greater impacts in, across the board were seen in the Bakken as compared to the Marcellus.